<laughs> Next person to come out of the stage, brand new to the comedy quarter stage, brand new to the uh, comic stage, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lisa Anderson. <laughs> That's cool. Because I've had a crappy day. How long have you guys been? I mean, like in the last three minutes since you were asked. <laughs> you know, nobody ever said that. You know, you've been asked three minutes ago, and has anything changed? But, uh, you know, I had a really crappy day because I have a career as a temporary employee. True, you know. So I went to the new job. It's a male-oriented job. I didn't know what to expect. I go in there, I'm on time, everything's going great. And uh, I'm at the loading dock. We're unloading trucks, weirdly. <laughs> and uh, this guy comes up and he wants to impress me. And he's on a golf cart, right? And it's a windy day today, but whatever. He sees this bag and it's on the road and it's dirt and he's gonna pick it up. So he puts the cart in forward. He drives forward and he goes to pick up the bag and right about then the wind takes it back behind him. I see this, because I'm standing in the back of the truck and it's like, yeah, that kind of figures, you know. So he puts the cart in reverse. He's backing up, he's gonna get it, he's gonna prove to me he can pick up that bag while he's moving. So he backs it up and just as he gets to the bag, the wind takes it that way. Now he's pissed. And I'm laughing. I mean, come on, that's funny stuff. That's like Warner Brothers and Disney right there. So he puts it in park, gets out of the cart, walks up, steps on the bag, picks it up, puts it in the back of the cart, gets on the cart, puts it in forward, and the bag flies out of the cart. I lost it. Oh my God, I was laughing so hard. I couldn't help it. I mean, yeah, I feel bad for the guy, but that's funny stuff. I mean, come on. You know. So later on, I go inside, and the loading dock door is still open. And he comes up to me, and he goes, why in the hell is that loading dock door open? You know, we're heating a whole outside. This company's losing money. We can't afford to have such a thing happen here. And I'm like, right? And he goes, what, what the hell do you mean by that? I says, well, I totally agree with your position on the state of the economy and how much heating costs and everything, but I, being new, a temporary employee, have no authority to say whether or not a door should be open or shut. Or, right? <laughs> I figured a shorter version is better, but, you know, I don't know. People could misunderstand it. <clears throat> so I get written up for... Not giving a rat's ass. <laughs> All right, like, I looked on the internet. Has anybody seen what rat's asses are going for these days? <laughs> I mean, like, okay, how many things did they go through before they decided rat's asses was the way to go? You know, like, whatever. Okay, this is the only obviously going to be my only day on this job. <laughs> so, it, it gets better though, because later on we're doing this job and the guy comes up to me and tells me what needs to be done. We're assembling some product. And I'm like, I told the guy to grab the wrench and tighten up the nuts. <laughs> I guess he took it personally and he thought I was sexually harassing him or something. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I won't be going there again. <clears throat> Well, yeah, on the way home, I think, all right, I, I just got to go to the store because, yeah, it was Easter yesterday. But on the way home, I see this boy, and he's standing in the middle of the road, and he's looking at me like eyes wide open, mouth wide open. So I, I slow down, and eventually I come to a stop, figuring he'll move. I mean, they always move. They keep going. They're going to the park. They're going to their friends. No, he stood there. And I'm like, what the hell? I mean, okay, maybe he saw me in my car, and yeah, I look so normal, you know. 
but whatever. His mom comes up, grabs him, pulls him to the side of the road, and looks at me like somehow this is my fault that his kid stood there like that. And I'm like, rolled down my window, I says, do you call him dear by any chance? <laughs> so I get to the store, I buy my groceries, and some lady comes up to me and asks me something really stupid. She says, uh, my friend just walked up to me and asked me why I'd want to do something. And I'm like, uh, sure. So I quickly grabbed my groceries, checked out, put my bags in the car, and once you know it, the wind came up and took the bag right out of there. <laughs> That's it for me, my first time. Thank you very much. <laughs>